All right, so we'll start at the very beginning for the rain system. And the very beginning is the source for the water. Uh, we have a livestock uh, watering trough here that holds 320 gallons. And uh, we have it full up to about uh, 280 to 300 gallons, somewhere around in there right now. And uh, inside this tank, we have two, you can't really see them because they're underwater, we have two sump pump, one horsepower sump pumps and they go up uh, two inch PVC pipes. You follow the pipes up and they go up to our catwalks up there, 30 feet. And, uh, and then once we hit the catwalks, um, I reduce it down to a one inch pipe that runs through the catwalks over to our sprinkler heads, our delivery heads. And uh, we'll, we'll follow, let's imagine it, that, that we're following the water up through the catwalks to our sprinkler heads, which are right up there. Now these are, um, if these look familiar, that's because these are rain gutters, vinyl rain gutters, turned upside down. And there's a PVC pipe that runs through them and some hangers that are attached to the pipes and go through the top. And you can see they're chained up to uh, the railing of our catwalk and one of our electrics. And uh, we have two 10-footers and two 5-footers. And uh, those are custom made. And uh, they run, uh, the water runs, uh, out those one inch pipes to some, um, I have a couple valves up there to control the, the volume of water and uh, to a pair of hoses. And uh, there were two pipes there, each pump supplies two of these. One supplies the back, one supplies the front. And uh, so once the rain rains down, we get to what I call the tray. And uh, this is the tray. It is made out of lumber. Um, I used, uh, a linoleum flooring with a cobblestone pattern on it to, uh, to seal off all the seams. Uh, I also used uh, just regular tub and tile caulking. And uh, there's a product that uh, Rust-Oleum makes called Leak Seal. It's a spray on black sealant. And I used quite a bit of that and sealed all the seams in and around. Um, the lamp post is an exterior lamp post. I've had it in my stock for quite a few years. And uh, it was just a matter of wiring it up through the, through the platform, through the tray, and then um, sealing off the edges with caulking. And uh, the tray, uh, the way it works, water comes down, hits the tray. It is sloped uh, two inches. We start out at, uh, at nothing at the front, or just barely anything. I think it's about a quarter inch on the front edge. And it slopes down um, two inches. By the time we get to the back, and then it goes under our wall, which is um, just a styrofoam wall. Uh, some productions I've seen, I, I did do a little bit of, of research to see what other, other places did for this. Uh, some have used buildings, so it looks like you're on a street, uh, and I, I toyed with doing that. And uh, others have done nothing. And uh, I did want to kind of hide the tanks in the back and, and all that stuff. So. Uh, and any people that might be operating pumps and things like that. So I decided on just a black wall that would be uh, pretty much lost in black curtain that would be behind it. And uh, I thought it was fairly effective. The, um, we did run into a little bit of trouble. You can see we've got some, uh, some half inch plywood and, and sort of a, a routing drain here. Uh, when I first tested it, I only did one set of sprinkler heads at a time. And I found that all the water was going to this stage left side and nothing was going to the stage right side because I apparently didn't slope it exactly enough. Uh, so this was a, uh, a correction for that. Uh, the water builds up, an extra, has to build up an extra half inch, has to pull a little bit here before it will start to run either direction. And actually that, that works out really well because that allows our actor to, to kick and splash a lot of extra water that's up here too. It doesn't run off so fast. Of course, um, he has to dance on this, so it has to, uh, it, ha it can't be too sloped. You know, you don't want something that he's gonna slip on. The, the linoleum actually has a little bit of traction to it. I was afraid I was gonna have to paint it um, until I found this pattern. I was afraid I was gonna have to paint it or it would look like a kitchen floor. And uh, I was a little worried that that would uh, not only reduce the, the traction on it, but it would also uh, wipe, wash away and I'd have to retouch it up all the time and it would also make a mess in the water. So uh, I was really fortunate I was able to find a pattern that I thought I wouldn't have to paint. 
Uh, there's a little bit of spring in this, but he does dance on this. He does jump up on the light pole, um, which does light up. And uh, that's the tray. So uh, once, once the water runs down its slope, we come around to the back side of it. And uh, we come to two feed trays, each of which will hold about 75. I think I figured them out. I calculated them at 74 gallons each. And uh, we, we never actually fill them up completely. Uh, so I don't know. It, it actually turns out we use less water than I thought we were going to over the course of the entire thing. We have two waterfall pumps. Uh, they're, they're smaller duty. I think they're four tenths horsepower. And um, they uh, pump out through some garden hoses uh, out to our, our back wall here where I, I rigged up some pipes on the back wall. And uh, we've got one hose actually routed outside because we're going to empty out the, the system. Um, but they, they come to these pipes which are mounted on the back wall and then run along the wall and empty back out into our main tank where it is recirculated up. 